Welcome to the Playboy Advisor presents The Female Orgasm. Let's take a look at my one night stand. I always say my fail safe tip for mixing it up in the bedroom doesn't include necessarily going out and doing anything radical. It's just doing what you already do and then adding one more thing on top of that. So as a basic example, if you take your hand right now and then you do this to it, now add your thumb and then do that. And see how that creates a brand new sensation. I wanted to do a little show and tell with you all to show you some of my favorite toys. These bad boys or girls do wonders for me. They are wonderful items that bring about different sensations and play into my life. Now, of course, you don't have to purchase all of these or any of these. Finding your own sex toy toolkit is really a personal journey of asking yourself, what do I wanna feel and what's gonna get me there? These are all different types of uses, but I love them all for different reasons. I wanna break them down for you. The first one I wanna talk about is the most affordable one on the table. What I also love about it is that it's almost an art piece. I think when it comes to sex toys, sometimes the ones that look a little bit more like body parts we recognize can be intimidating. Now the kin, what's really cool about this, it can even go underwater. You can insert it, you can use it topically. So this truly is a toy that can go anywhere and literally it probably can. If you had this in your purse and someone discovered it, they probably wouldn't know exactly what it does. So it's got a bit of mystery to it, but it's also got a lot of bang for its buck. The next one that I want to talk about is the Fun Factory Pulsator, and it is called the Pulsator because it pulses. So this toy very uniquely almost mimics the thrusting action that you would get with penetration. The G-spot needs a lot of that consistent motion, that pressure that come here. And this might almost be the best you can get to mimicking that through a toy. You can increase how much it goes, it's also extremely heavy. A lot of people enjoy weight in their toys, like that girth, and of course it can be easier to handle that way. This is really fun to hold, actually. Um, what makes this toy really great as well, too, is that you can use it on external parts just for vibration, because it is still giving a little bit of that. But for those of us who do enjoy internal play, this can be a really great one. <laughs> really great ones. I almost feel like this needs no introduction. This is basically a historical artifact. The magic wand is really a go-to. It is a superstar in the sex toy community. It has been used for many, many different years and they haven't changed the design because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It essentially is a body massager that works wonderfully on the genital parts and it is powerful, folks. I, I could clear up this whole table right now if I wanted to. It's got a variety of different modes on it. And what's good about this, again, when we think about the vulva area having a cluster of nerves endings, not just on the clitoris, but in a bunch of areas, you can actually put this right below, maybe close to the anus and have the vibrations go around, or at the top at the mons pubis and have the vibrations engulf the entire vulva and the clitoris itself. Or if you're adventurous, go for direct stimulation. But the magic wand is a wonderful tool. And in a lot of videos that I have seen on how to's for squirting, the magic wand is the tool of choice. I don't have personal experience with that, but I've seen some things, I've seen what this can do, and I think that it's safe to say it's a good recommendation for anyone's toolkit. Uh, what's also great about this tool is that it is unisex. It can be used for the taint or the perineum, which is that area for men between the anus and the balls. Having this there with a lot of pressure can be extremely pleasurable. And yes, of course, it's good for the shoulder as well too. If this is like a historical sex toy that is just like a fail safe and you can't go wrong with, this is where things started to go very right.
This is a new addition to the sex toy community. It is known as the Womanizer. This is a premium version of this toy. This is a clitoral stimulator. It's got a really beautiful design, which makes it easy to hold. If you guys could feel the material, it is absolutely divine. And what makes this toy unique is that it doesn't just vibrate, it also suctions. It is going to encapsulate the entire clitoris in there and suck it up while also vibrating around. And it's not so intense that's gonna blow you away, but it'll blow some stuff away. You know what, I should probably stop right now because it's very nostalgic for me. What I love most about the Crave Vesper necklace is that it truly does represent what I feel my sexuality is. It's chic, it's discreet, it's beautiful, and honey, it's powerful as well too. And above all else, it's a secret that only you share with those that you want to share it with. I will say that this toy in particular is for somebody who really knows what they like in clitoral play. This is not for insertion at all, whether that be vaginally or anally. And if you know the specific point that you like to get hit, this can be useful for that. If you like more, of course, of a, a wider vibration, that's where you're going into the magic wand territory. This is just not that cute as a necklace, so. The final toy that I wanna talk about is actually one that I've had for a very long time. I took a lot of classes around G-Spot, around female sexual pleasure and female sexual orgasm. And back then, this Enjoy toy was recommended to me and it's actually been in my kit for around 13 years. Uh, this does not vibrate. This does not have anything fancy about it. It is exactly what it looks like. It is a stainless steel metal rod. It is called the Pure Wand, and it is best used for G-spot stimulation or P-spot, meaning prostate stimulation. And what's great about this is a lot of G-spot tools and toys, they are straight. So they'll have that curve that we need to get to the interior wall, but it'll be a straight. So when you're doing it for yourself, it can be an awkward motion. Whereas in with this, it's a lot more comfortable to pull in that way. And again, you can choose what side you want depending on how large the area that you want to stimulate is. This is something I think is actually wonderful in addition to something else. That's actually something I have to say with all of these toys and tools. They can provide so much more pleasure when combined together. So how can you use this toy and this toy together to completely change your sex play? That's what I want you to answer. Okay, so this is what is in my nightstand. What might be great for me may not work for you, or you may know some stuff that I don't know yet, which is why we are dying to learn from you in the comments section below. Let us know what toy is your absolute favorite, or what toy's up.